What caused the fall of the Roman Empire? Well, it's complex, but scholars generally include these reasons. It was too large to manage, political instability. The division of the empire in 284 weakened Rome. Invasion of barbarian tribes, government corruption, mercenary armies, over-reliance on slave labor, massive unemployment and inflation, and the rise of Christianity. There is no single cause, however, and it took around 300 years for Rome to fall. It should also be noted that the fall of Rome, quote-unquote, only refers to the western part of the empire ending in circa 476 CE. The eastern part of the empire continued until 1453 CE. So the empire was already too large to be governed effectively by an emperor and 300 senators by the 3rd century CE, which is why the emperor Diocletian divided it in two, western and eastern Rome, in 284 CE. This has been cited as one reason for the fall of Rome because the two halves didn't work well together. They treated each other more like competition than teammates. The Eastern Empire was more successful than the West, and this caused resentment. The most popular reason given for the fall of Rome is the invasion of barbarian tribes, especially the Goths and the Huns. But this is only one of many challenges Rome faced. You can't say that the Huns were the sole cause for Rome's fall. The government of Western Rome had become corrupt and was completely unstable throughout most of the 3rd century CE. As the citizens of Rome became more affluent, fewer wanted to serve in the military, and even if they had, the empire was simply too large now and required a much bigger army. The Roman military recruited non-Romans, so-called barbarians, like the Goths and the Huns, to serve in the legions, but these people had no loyalty to Rome. They were just fighting for pay and this weakened the military. Regional governors or magistrates were often corrupt, and they would siphon public funds into private accounts, or they would use resources which should have gone to the, to the people, like surplus grain or food, for their own profit. The Gothic War of the 4th century CE, in fact, was essentially started by corrupt officials mistreating the Goths who had settled in Roman territory. Another reason for the fall of Rome is an over-reliance on slavery. One-third of the people were slaves who had no voice in politics and no right under the law. Slaves performed so many tasks, from construction to teaching to entertainment, that the lower-class citizens of the empire couldn't find work. The government provided free bread and oil and other necessities to the lower class, much like the welfare system in the USA does today. But there were so many, and there was no incentive for them to work, and this drained the empire's treasuries. Another popular reason given is the rise of Christianity in the 4th century CE. This argument points out that the pagan religion of Rome was state-sponsored. The government supported the religion, and the religion informed the actions of the government. Public religious festivals honored the state as much as the gods and private religious practices in one's home did. So social unity was established. Everyone was, more or less, honoring the same gods and spirits in the same way. Christianity undermined this by shifting the focus from the gods of the state to a single supreme deity who was god of the whole world, not just Rome. When Christians refused to participate in public festivals or honor the gods or ancestors privately, they weakened the social structure of Rome. Christianity was originally just another so-called mystery religion, and was one of many. It became legitimized in 313 CE by the Emperor Constantine, and gained increasing power afterwards. Before Christianity, the Emperor was considered divine, and the so-called cult of the Emperor pretty much worshipped whoever held the position, as though that person were a god. During the crisis of the 3rd century CE, this became a real problem, because an emperor, who naturally wanted to stay in power and do what he wanted as the head of the government, favored the military with higher pay and other gifts. The military kept the emperor in power only as long as he was doing what they felt he should. This situation finally resulted in the crisis of the 3rd century, which saw emperors elevated to the throne and almost as quickly assassinated when they did not live up to the people's expectations, especially the military's expectations. The crisis of the 3rd century only ended in 284 CE, and Christianity came into focus in 313 CE, less than 30 years later. So some scholars claim that Christianity replaced the cult of the emperor, 
and this weakened Rome because the head of the government was no longer being honored. Now the Christian God was, and, as noted, this new God had nothing special to do with Rome. 